morning ladies welcome to my 27 and 28 week pregnancy update welcome 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 if you are new my name is Yasmin I am 29 weeks and six days pregnant today and if you hear my son in the background I apologize now that I'm thinking about it, we should have gave him his switch because no he would too loud right I got him watching a show but I can't guarantee it I try to grab him with a snack or whatever but it's not working but anyway let's get to this pregnancy update um, again, I am officially 29 weeks and six days, which means I will be 30 weeks tomorrow. Yay! And I do, I'm up early, so I do have a doctor's appointment today. So I can't give you any doctor's doctor appointment status because I haven't been there in three in three weeks, which is nice. So <laughs> it's really nice. So I'm going to lump them together, 27 and 28, because I don't feel like there was enough in, in the separate weeks to, you know, split them up. But let's start off with the 27th week. At exactly 27 weeks, I had a growth scan for baby girl and it was just to check her growth because again i know i said this a million times people who are not new let me repeat okay i'm going i have gestational diabetes and i have hypertension so and they don't think it's um they don't think it's gestational hypertension and i know i said that before but since it's so chronic they're like yeah you think we just think you have high blood pressure which is probably true most likely um, so we went for a growth scan exactly at 27 weeks. Baby girl was weighing in at 2.5 pounds and she was 16 inches, I think, I believe long and part B was 153. So she looks great. I don't have to go back for another, it was at that time it was four weeks, but it's coming up really soon because, um, they wanted me, they wanted me to come again at 31 weeks. So, and that's coming up really soon as I am 30 weeks tomorrow. Um, so that was that. She looks great. Nothing else going on. She's head down. She's been head down since I first saw her at 19 weeks. So nothing to report there. They said I'm kind of boring, which is great. Um, and then, so that's, that's that for the 27 weeks. I guess let's talk about symptoms because I just want to get that out of the way so I remember my symptoms. Um, I'm, I'm not having trouble sleeping unless it's my hips, unless my hips are sore. And that's from laying on them for too long. I, I laid down, I, well, I was laying down, laying down a lot because of back pain and just being pregnant and tired. But now that I'm able to get up, I have more energy. I'm not laying on my hips as much anymore. So um, they don't hurt as much. So I'm sleeping really, really well. So that's good. Um, I had some breast pain and I'm gonna continue to say this. I've never had this in this late in pregnancy, but my I catch myself frowning at my breasts because they're sore and I'm just like, why is this happening? they're heavy they're leaking and I'm just like why is this happening so soon you know what I mean I'm just I like it's it's getting to the point where you're just like annoyed with the situation and I'm not gonna tell my doctors anything because they're just gonna be like well that's normal pregnancy and Daniel's like why don't you ever tell your doctor these things because he's been to every doctor's appointment he's never missed an appointment in what 21 years <laughs> of our children being born he's never missed a appointment so he's like why don't you tell your doctor about this because they're going to give you the standard well you're pregnant well, you're pregnant. They always like, do you have any complaints? You tell them a complaint. Well, you're pregnant. And so I don't understand why they think you're gonna tell them anything. So I go in there and they say, how are you doing? I say, I'm good, I'm, I'm good. That's fine, I feel great, right? So I'm not gonna tell them any of that stuff. Um, so the breast thing, yeah, it's kind of getting me. Good thing is um, I have a lot more energy this time, like at this time, because if you were familiar with any of my pregnancy updates, I've been dragging, like literally dragging from the moment I found out I was pregnant before I even found out I was pregnant, I was dragging. Cause you can go back to my two week weight symptoms. I was dragging then till just recently. So like the, the third trimester, which I'm in right now, I was dragging, but finally, finally, there's relief in sight. I can get up and I can clean again. I can take care of my kids. It's just, it's nice. Sorry about my son in the back. <laughs> so it's nice to have a little bit more energy now. One more thing I think I'm gonna mention, cause I don't think there's anything else. Let's think, no. Let's talk about what I haven't spoken to you guys about in a long time. If you go back to the beginning of my pregnancy, very beginning before I even knew I was pregnant, I had severe nausea, which caused me to think twins. And then the whole, if you just go back and look at the videos, it's just a whole debacle of twin thing. Um, doctors and everything was in on it. We was just a mess. but. It's not twins, if you don't know. It's just one. Um, so the nausea was really bad. I've never experienced nausea like that. And surprise, surprise, I'm still nauseous. To this moment, to this very day, I'm still nauseous. So if you don't know, I've been taking Unisom B6 since I found out I was pregnant. Um, even a little bit before, because I, I figured, okay, I'm gonna have some nausea, so I should start the regimen early. I didn't start the Unisom, but I did start the B6 very early, before I even, while I was trying 
to get pregnant. And I've been on it ever since. So the Unisom, and I started the Unisom in, in the middle of my pregnancy. So I've been doing this for weeks. I'm dang near 30 weeks. So what ended up happening, how I figured it out, because I started taking the Unisom B6. It was kind of like a part of my regimen. I apologize for him again. It was kind of like a part of my regimen where I would just take a B6 Unisom at nighttime with all the rest of my pills. And all of a sudden, I was just like, one day I missed it. And I believe this was in the 28th week. And I missed it, and I woke up the next day feeling like trash, like absolute trash. And I was like, I am sick. And I sat up, I was like, oh, I forgot to take my Unison B6. And I was literally 28 weeks. So I was going to try not taking it at 30 weeks. But I'm not going to do it no more. I'm not going to do it no more. Uh, so I'm, I'm still nauseous, which is so crazy to me. Because usually for me, I have very mild nausea. I've been pregnant several times before. And this is the first time this ever happened to me. I'm usually very mild nausea. And then at 12 weeks, it's gone. Disappeared, nothing. Like, nothing even happened. Again, this pregnancy is so different to the point where it was just like, I've never experienced any of this stuff. None of it. None of it. So, okay. So, that's another thing that I was experiencing. Okay, those are my symptoms. Oh, eating. My appetite is really strange because I will get really hungry and then I won't want to eat nothing at all. Um, and then I'll get really hungry again and then the day I won't want to eat nothing at all. So, so it's back and forth. I can't figure out exactly what my stomach is doing because I'll go like a stretch without wanting to eat anything and then I'll go like I'm hungry and I'll eat consistently. So I can't really report on anything like that. Also, I can't give you a weight because I don't really know. Maybe I did gain some weight. Who knows? I don't know yet. I would like to doctor today. I'll put it in my next pregnancy update. All right, so let's what do we talk about? Let's talk about baby because baby has been doing a lot lately. She's like doing the most now, <laughs> and she's getting tight in there. So she, she the thing she loves to do is to stretch, and she has this thing where she will stretch really wide, and you feel her legs on her head on one side, and her arms on one side, and her legs will be on the other side. It's so crazy. She'll just like stretch out, trying to make space because like, obviously it's getting tight in there. She is still very low, so I've never felt her again up in my ribs ever since she was a baby, like a little baby, excuse me. And since she was a tiny little seedling, I haven't felt her in my ribs. So she's very, very low and on my bladder. Interesting thing enough, when I stand up, every time I stand up, I have to pee. And I guess it's because she's laying on my bladder or something that's laying on my bladder. So whatever it is, something's pushing up against my bladder and it's causing me to have to pee in the minute I stand up. And sometimes it's a trickle and sometimes it's more than that. And it's just like that's that's annoying she has this thing where she does where she rolls it's not like kicks and punches anymore she's like shifting from side to side she will roll and be on the other side of my stomach and it's crazy it's so crazy to feel another thing about her is that she will hear daniel's voice if he's on one she's on one side of my stomach say she's on the right side of my stomach she will, she will i call it migrating because it's all slow she'll move to the other side of my stomach and you'll see a big lump on the side where daniel's talking at so she can hear him it's the cutest thing. Um, one thing I, and I figured out about her is that she's very irritable. Um, she's extremely irritable. She, once she was sleeping and I was in the room with her and I was laying on the bed, obviously I'm with her. She, I was laying in the bed and we was, I, I wasn't asleep, but she was. And I could tell that she was sleeping because of the weight of her and she wasn't moving. And King came into the room screaming and crying and she literally woke out of her sleep, started kicking and kicking and kicking and kicking. And as soon as Dale ushered him out of the room, she went back to sleep. So it's so interesting, and she stopped kicking immediately and went back to sleep. It's interesting that she can hear things outside of the womb so clearly, it's like she should be here already. It's so crazy, it's so crazy. Um, one more thing is that she um, she had the hiccups for the first time, and it was the cutest thing. And I had Daniel touch my stomach, and you could feel the hiccups. He laughed every time she would hiccup, and she didn't like them. She started kicking, she was very upset. She didn't like the hiccups at all. And then, I had Maya come over because Maya had never felt her move or do anything like that. So I had Maya come over, she was in the room and she put her hand on my stomach and she feel a hiccuping. So that was really cute. So that's baby, she's got an attitude already. I firmly believe that you can tell the personality of your child while they're still in your belly. I, you can, and I've, I've lived by that because I've had several children and I've known all the personalities. Um, just by the change of my personality and the change and what you feel about them How you can feel them in your belly how they move how they react to certain sounds and noises Also, she doesn't like the vacuum. She has Seriously come to the conclusion that she hates the vacuum. She's always hated the vacuum But then we now we have a dustbuster. She hates that too. 
So I have to leave the room if anybody's gonna do any type of vacuuming or dust busting or I have to put a pillow over my stomach, just cover the sound. So there's that. Baby has a whole personality in there. She's a, literally a whole person. Um, let's talk about, uh, the last thing I wanna talk about is Daniel's issue with my first picture outfit. Okay, so we had come up with, or well, I, I'm not gonna put this on Dia. This was on me. I saw a girl with a very cute first um, picture outfit and I thought it was adorable. Um, she's having a boy, so. Um, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. It came from Little One Shop and I was like, okay, I'm gonna pick this up. I'm like, yeah, have Dia pick, pull it up and get, grab it for me. So that's what I did. Um, Dia, did you even like it? Sorry, she's behind the camera, say hi, Dia. I think it's kind of cute, but I like the new one better. Yeah, so I picked, I had Dia pick it up for me. It was $30, Little One Shop. If you like it, I will link it for you below. Can, do you think we do that? Mm -hmm. Um, so this is the hat. I don't like the ears. They're too close together. I don't like the hat. This this is supposed to be a bear, by the way. Can you see it good? It's supposed to be a bear. The ears are too close together. I think they're too long. They look like bunny ears. So this is the hat. Brown, I like. I think this kid's supposed to be a brown bear. Okay? This is the outfit. So this is the outfit. I'm gonna, can we put a picture up? Or should we just? Okay, it's a knotted gown. It was $30. I like the little buttons and everything. How cute, right? I think it's cute. She's still gonna wear it. But not for her first picture outfit because her father said no. He did not like that. He hated it. He vetoed it. And he was like, that's disgusting. Especially if she's gonna be a little brown baby. He is. Con he was convinced that she's gonna be a little dark-skinned baby. He just wants a dark skin. <laughs> Leo is very dark-skinned. So he's hoping that she comes out like that. I think all babies are cute to me. Whether the light skin or dark skin, but Leah was very pretty, uh, you know, dark skin little baby. She's just a little chocolate thing. And so he made us go find something else because he said she's dark skinned, that that brown will not look good on her. I kind of agree. I think it'll look good. Nice. You think it'll be fine? Yes. I kind of agree that it would, huh? I disagree with that. I think it would blend in. I think she would blend into it really well. It's dark skin talk. I mean, if you have a dark skinned child, you know, certain colors make their skin pop. And it's some, like, for me, I feel like this brown would like mute her down a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? You think it's fine? Do you think it's fine? Well, Daniel made us go find another color. <laughs> well, it wasn't just the color. He hated the whole outfit. He just couldn't stand the thing. So we picked up this one. So what should I show first? Let's do this. This is the knotted gown. It's pink. So he's happy with the pink. Um, so it's pink. <sighs> No, I was, if she's gonna be a little dark skin, I hope she gets red. Like we should have picked the red one out. Who knows? We don't know. So, cause we got Anaya who's light skinned. We don't know. Um, then we have, we're just trying to match the skin tone. That's all. It's not a gown. It's very thin. I like it. It has the little mitts like the other one does. It comes with a little cute little headband, right? Um, you can retie this because I know the head may be a little small. So if you have your baby's head a little big, sometimes baby's heads are big. I know, because I got one. King's head was huge. It wouldn't fit this thing. But um, you can retie it. You just got to figure out how to do that. And then it came with... Sorry, I haven't washed it yet either. It came with a little swaddle blanket. Like a... What do you do? You swallow this, right? It's so stretchy. And it's so soft. I don't know. I, I think it's very cute. I, I like both of them. I like both of them. She's going to wear both. Um, but probably not for her first picture. She's definitely gonna wear this one. Oh, this one came from Milkmaid Goods, right? Mm -hmm. Hmm, price, 60? 64. Ooh. Yeah, he didn't care. I tried to tell him what, that it's gonna be extra money. He's just like, I don't care. I don't really, he doesn't really care for it. He doesn't really care for the the, the brown bear. I think it was adorable. I, I don't like the hat. I don't, I don't care, I'm standing by that. I can't stand the hat, it's ugly, I don't like it. But that's it, I think that's it. Yeah, so. We're just trying to play with different colors and hope to match her skin tones and give her the best popping looking color. I don't know how to do baby pictures. I don't. But I've seen like some people put like their baby in certain colors to make them pop and not be faded, like faded out or whatever. I don't know how to do that. But I'm so I'm maybe we should grab a red just in case. I don't know. What do you think, do you? This is already strawberry, right? Because it's pink. I don't know. I'll, I'll, we'll see. I we'll see. It's so, like for Leah, because she was dark skinned. She was adorable. We put red earrings in her ear, like red rubies in her ear, and we took her pictures, and she was just so pretty. Oh, it looks so good. Anyway, but that was a suggestion of a photographer. So if you're gonna do that, put, you know, a color that'll fit her skin color, her skin type. 
anyway, I'm gonna go, uh, let's give you a belly bump shot. This is a, I'm talking about my 27, 28 week pregnancy update, but this is a 29 week and six days. So I'll be 30 weeks tomorrow. So that's where this big old bump's coming from. You ready, dear? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Let me take off my slippers. Oh my look. <laughs> sorry, so sorry. Good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Other side. Of course I'm wearing the old fateful pants. My my lounge pants that I bought from Amazon. I knew they would fit through the third trimester. And they do. They fit perfectly. Need some great pants. Anyway, yeah, so, I don't know. We're not getting a photographer um, for the baby. We're not, we're not, I don't think we're wasting that money because we have, my kids are really great. They do really good pictures. I don't know how they do it, but they're really great at their pictures. They take their Instagram and stuff really seriously. So we have them. I don't feel like we need <laughs> anybody else. I don't pay them anything. I don't have to pay them. So I think I'm going to go with them. I might get like, I don't know. We could get advice from a, a photographer because I do know a photographer, so we get advice of what color to put her in. This I'm taking it very seriously because this is her, her first picture, and I'm gonna have it plastered everywhere. So I want her to look the cutest. I can get her skin to pop and just look so cute, adorable. I'm just doing the best. I'm trying to do the most. So that is it. I'm so excited for this baby to come. I, we're we're so close. We're in the home stretch here, and yeah. So if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. And um, that's it, right? I'll see you next one. Bye, bye, bye.